I wanted to create this video really quickly for those who keep stalking me, coming to my page, attacking me, disrespecting me, trying to tear me down, waiting for me to post something so they can run and report it, trying to get my page banned again and again and again, just trying to shut me up. This video is for you. It's all fun and games now, but it's not going to be funny at all when you learn that I am your God, the God who created you, who has come down here in the flesh to be your last and only hope mm. it's going to be scary when you learn i am the wife the one and only wife of the lord jesus it's going to be scary when you learn that because you're sitting here trying to stop me and shut me up when i am only doing what my father and my king have sent me to do mm. that is terrible i have sacrificed my life to fulfill their will and their purpose on the earth and you're hating me for it the same exact way jesus was hated for doing the father's will because you don't know what righteousness and truth actually looks like you don't recognize the spirit because you don't know the spirit and you don't know the father just like jesus told you and for those of you who say that a evil spirit is leading me i want you to know something evil spirits would never lead me to serve the father and to serve jesus because that is what has happened my father told me i had a choice i could choose to serve him in all holiness and righteousness or the enemy i had to pick one and when i chose the father i had to lay down my life of sin i sacrificed my life of sin to live in holiness when i used to have sex and get drunk and smoke weed and party and turn up sleeping around all those things i used to do I gave that up to be perfect from sin and be righteous, to carry the spirits of God, to be the temple of the most high God, to speak for him upon the earth, to reign for him upon the earth, to bring his truth upon this earth. This is a sacrifice. I am submitting myself to my God and you are hating me for that. Satan would never have me living for Jesus. Satan would have me living in sin that's what the evil spirits would do just like jesus told you he that is not against us is with us leave him alone but you cannot recognize my truth even though everything i am is written in prophecy prophecy spoke about someone coming in these last days with fire in his eyes with a sharp sword coming out of his mouth that with it he should smite the nations prophecy spoke about someone coming with vengeance terrible vengeance prophecy spoke about someone coming to be the hope for the children of israel and only the children of israel not the world read the prophecy the prophecy spoke about someone coming to repay the enemies of the children of Israel, to repay the children's children for the things that their fathers have done to my innocent babies. Oh yes, the prophecy spoke about all these things that are being done through me. Just because you choose to ignore the prophecy and overlook the prophecy, that has nothing to do with me. That's between you and the Most High Creator. But know and understand something. I came as a thief for a reason. I came as a thief to see who would love me for who I am and not for what I have. Have to offer like prince akim when he popped up as a thief in the land of america because he he came as a servant because he wanted to see who was going to love him for who he was and not for what he had not for his inheritance the same thing is happening now there are so many people upon this earth a world full of people who claim to love jesus who claim to love the father while serving his enemy <laughs> You only claim to love Jesus because you know that's what's going to get you in eternal glory. So you say you love him. You say you believe in him. But the whole time you're serving your flesh. You're a servant of flesh. And if you are a servant of your flesh, you are a servant of sin. And if you are a servant of sin, you are a servant of the enemy who 
father's sin. Satan, that is who you serve. No man can serve two masters because he will love one and hate the other. So if you're serving your flesh in Satan, you are hating Jesus and you are hating God, but pretending to love them because you are opportunists. You are leeches. You are blood suckers. You want to use them to get to, to the kingdom of God. You want to use them to get to the new earth, but we would not allow that to happen, which is why we came here, like I said, as a thief. You think that Jesus died for you to sin as much as you want to? You think Jesus died for you to serve his enemy? Would you hang out with your best friend? And when your best friend turns their back, you go and hang out with your best friend's enemy? Well, you wouldn't do that to them. You only want to do it to Jesus because you think he's so merciful and loving and gracious. You take advantage of his grace and his mercy and it's not going to fly anymore. So keep on thinking, like I said, it's all fun and games. Keep on thinking this is a joke. I may not know all of you, but Jesus, my husband, my king, is up on his throne and he's watching each and every one of you. He knows exactly who you are and he is watching each and everything you do. And I promise you that you are going to reap each and everything that you have sown. And that is a promise from the almighty God. Get ready.